Not a bad thing for me. Oh, we're in times these days. Oh, Brother Billy, you know we're in a serious situation because I'm wearing my Marvin T-shirt. I only wear Marvin on, uh, you know, around about the beginning of April when he was born and he died. But I also wear him when things are too distressful. Marvin calms me down. Yeah. Now, I'm not distressed here in Africa. I'm, I'm cool here in South Africa. I'm doing what I need to do. But back in my homeland, uh, if you will, I mean, I know this is my motherland, but my homeland is, is the United States of North America. There's some stuff happening. Uh, you know, uh, there's a, a, well, it happens all the time, but now it's reached a point where people are not focusing. There's a place called uh, Ferguson, Missouri. Uh, and then sort of like the middle of the country, a little bit over to the front. It's, 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 it's there. It's not, they're not the big cities, you know, it's not, you know, some little area. It's a suburb, it's a town, you know. Anyway, there was a killing, as usual. Uh, when I say as usual, I mean that uh, some white police officer shot a black boy to death. Uh, <laughs> I won't get into the things, the details, they, they, they're going to work that out. But here's the thing, everybody's talking about racial this and, and then they're going to, because you know, I'm, I don't believe, I do raise as a false construct, so that's not in, in, my, in my brain as far as race goes. But the thing is, I don't look at this stuff as race. I mean, I look at it as a pure, unadulterated, as they say, power, it's power grabs. In other words, uh, if, 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 if it's not, it's not going to be rape. It's really an assault, you know what I mean? It, 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 you can call it rape, rape, rape is just a subset of what's going on. Just like you can't really call it uh, any, anything, but what it is, it's, it's, it's criminal activities. You know, these are the things that happen. It's criminal to shoot somebody dead. That's a crime, you know? We, we, we may do something about it, not do something about it, but that's a crime. But what happens, uh, as usual, is uh, the perpetrators of crimes, at least in this day and age, do not get served for the crimes that they uh, that they commit. Not allegedly commit, that they commit. You know, somebody died, somebody got shot, killed dead, and it was, uh, and, and it was uh, an official uh, uh, police person, you know? And they, and they get away with this stuff all the time. And, and it's, it's, it comes to a point now where people are not taking it anymore. They just not having it, you know? And so we're at that point. Hopefully, you know, we can con continue this momentum and uh, basically, uh, you know, let people be. Let people live, you know. They don't have to be uh, taken advantage of. That's the whole point. I think that people are just taking advantage of. It's, it's like this power power struggle between uh, some people who got a lot of guns, who got some sort of, who think they got power and they're doing stuff like that, against the people who seem to be hapless and powerless. So it's a sad, it's a sad situation. Uh, uh, and, and the only thing I can say is that I'm, I'm glad, uh, I'm glad that people are paying attention. Because what's happening is people are you lost their humanity, and I think that unless unless we get our humanity back and we start treating each person like a human being and not a criminal or not a you know saying framing this stuff so that property is more important than people, whatever the thing is, we're just going to stay in this sad, sad shape. Like, like that's just a, an opinion because it's, it's a dispatch actually, dispatch from the arch director of murders. That would be me, T, from the Patterson's taking the train to Tibet, letting you know what I only suspect. Thank mm -hmm. you.